Today we're going to do an art project based on the book The Dot. So the first thing you're going to need to do is get a piece of watercolor paper or cardstock that works too and cut them into six equal squares. If you use watercolor paper, the length of the paper is about 12 inches. So you can cut them into four inch squares and that works really well. If you're using cardstock, you're gonna to need to cut them a little bit smaller into three inch squares, but that works perfect as well. I found that a paper plate works really well for a painter's palette. And I've just dotted just a little bit of paint on my paper plate and I'll use a little bit of water, mix it around, and then I can start creating my dots. Remember in our story, Vashti didn't really feel like an artist. She thought all she could make was a dot. That's okay. We're just going to take our paintbrush and we're gonna add a little bit to it. You can do whatever you want because this is your project. I'm gonna let this one dry just like that. We'll come back to it later and see if we wanna change anything. On this next one, I'd like to try something a little different. I went ahead and wet my paper first. kind of a fun dot. If you have too much paint or water on your paintbrush, just dab it off just a little bit on a paper towel. I think I'd like to try and pick up another color. Using watercolor is fun. I like the way that the colors mix. So for this dot, I decided to start with a yellow center. Then I traced the yellow on the outside with red. And then I mixed my red and my yellow together on my palette and created orange and dropped some big paint drops right in the center. Then I swirled the red all the way to the outside, about a quarter inch from the edge of the paper. I'm gonna let that dry. Maybe we'll come back to that one later. For my next dot, I decided to do blue. Just plain blue, but while it's still wet, I'm going to add purple. So after I added some dots of purple and let the paint bleed together, I went back and added another blue. This time the color blue that I used was closer to a teal. Then I let all of those paints just melt in together. For this dot, I decided to just draw a purple ring. I'm gonna let that dry before I add any other colors to the center. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next dot. For this dot, I put a big giant circle of yellow in the center. Next, I'm gonna add blue. I don't have any green paint, so I'm gonna to need to mix my paints if I wanna make green. So I'm going to mix yellow and blue, which makes green. All right, so I went ahead and dropped in two drops of blue paint and then I swirled it around, mixing it right there on my paper. I'm gonna let it dry before I add anything else to it. Let's go back and take a look at some of other pieces. I think I'd really like to add just a little bit more to this piece. So one suggestion I have, if you find that your paper keeps moving on you, and you're getting frustrated with it, you can go ahead and just tape it down. 
You can use painter's tape, which is the blue tape that works really well. You can put a little bit of masking tape on the back. Try not to put any masking tape on the front here on the corners. If you do, sometimes when you take your, your tape off, it will rip your paper. I really feel like I'd like to go back and add some more color to this one. I really like this blue. It reminds me of the ocean. I'm going to keep working on this piece. And I'll show you the finished results in just a minute. All right, to finish off this red piece, I didn't really like how light the red looked, so I added a little bit of magenta and a little bit of purple, and I made my red a little bit darker and more intense, and I added more paint to the dot and swirled it around and then dabbed just a little bit of yellow. I like the modeling look that it gave. It reminds me a little bit of lava. All right, remember this purple circle that I made? It's time for me to go back and add a little bit more. I want to soften up the edge just a little bit. So when you do that, you can add a little bit of water to the edge. And then once I start adding another color to it, it's going to let it bleed into it just a little bit. So I'm going to go back over here and pick up a little bit of my magenta. I'm just going to keep playing around with it just like that. All right, my green circle is almost dry, but I've got that one area that's still wet. I'm actually kind of excited about that because I love the way the colors bleed together when I add new colors to it. Do you see how we have that dark line right here? Right there. I love the way that looks. All right, my green circle is finished. I like the different colors of green. I'm going to go ahead and leave it like it is. On to my purple dot with the pink center. I decided to go back and add more magenta. I'm not an art teacher, not 100% sure what I'm doing, but I really love to paint. And that's okay. You don't have to be an artist to enjoy painting. Besides, remember, we're just making dots. All right, so I have all of my dots laid out and they are drying. Once they're dry, we're going to be able to mount them to a black background. So I'm cutting a file folder right there on the crease. Then I'm going to take my black construction paper and line it up and I'm going to cut this tab off right there. But I'm going to do that before I glue it down and it kind of has this little guide in a way right here for you. There we go. So now I'm going to glue it down. Just using regular old glue stick. sure my file folder is covered up. Now I got a nice sturdy black background to mount 
or dots too. This will make it look a little fancy.